Once again, right? Um, I'm on live again. Um, so um, just now I unboxed the Gemini machine, right? Um, so now, right now, uh, I will be doing a quick um, a quick one on the how the machine uh can be used, right? Right. So uh, just now I didn't manage to answer quite a lot of questions. So um as I was actually looking at uh, the Instagram live feeds. So right now, if you have any questions, I'll get my, my boy to read the questions to me, right, as I do the demonstration on the uh, machine, right. So if you have any question, right, please let me know, right. Uh, you can actually uh, ask me. And uh, yep, so if you have any question, and if I didn't answer your question just now, right, uh, please let me know, right, so that I can answer your question. Right, so uh, basically the machine comes with triple boiler, as I mentioned just now. And uh, um, PID, right, definitely is PID and uh, PID control, right. All the temperature can be adjusted at the top, right. You can also adjust the pre-infusion timing, right. You can also adjust the pre-infusion timing, right. So, um, and as far as the temperature, right. So maybe let me bring you closer, right, to see uh, how all these can be set. Right, just give me a moment. Right, so right now you are looking at the group head. Right, so the group head, right, this is where, uh, I'm not too sure whether you can see, maybe the LED is a bit too bright. Right, currently it's displayed as 93 degrees Celsius. So now my temperature is set at 93. Right, if I want to adjust the pre infusion timing, I just have to hold. Right, and the P will come out, right? P represent the pre-infusion timing. So I can actually increase it. Right, normally I like about 8 seconds pre-infusion. Right, then I just have to hold. Right, and you rec record the pre-infusion timing. And if I want to adjust the brew temperature, I just hold on to the left hand button. Right, so right now, uh, my brew temperature is 93, so I will just keep it as 93, right? If you want to increase, of course, plap, uh, you just have to press this button. If you want to drop the temperature, you can do this, right? So again, I want to stay at 93, so I just hold and press. Right, so now the temperature is ready, right? And another thing that uh, that's so special about this machine is the machine uh, water flow rate. Uh, water flow can actually be controlled by a screw underneath here. Right, so if I remove this, right, you can see there's actually a screw there, right? This screw actually allows me to control the, uh, the amount of water flow, right? By adjusting this screw, I can adjust the flow rate of the water, right? Uh, on the Bianca, right, you see the pedal, right? The pedal is actually used to control the flow, right? On this machine, the flow rate is adjusted by the, the dial there, but right? you can actually turn the dial to adjust the flow rate, right? So basically, uh, this is on the Gemini, right? This this model is I think is, uh, let me check the model. I think the model should be. Uh, just give me a second. Let me bring you to the box. Right. Right. This is actually the Gemini, three one three one A, right? Uh, espresso machine, right? In Chinese, it's called Gemini Yingwu. Yingwu means cat a parrot, right? In Chinese. Right, okay, so Alright, so comes to the grinder, right? This grinder is actually a weight dosing grinder, right? Uh yes? Good question. Okay, so uh this machine is actually a weight dosing grinder, right? Uh not only record the temperature of the beans, right? You can also record the humidity of the bean, right? So currently it's pretty humid, it's at 51 uh degrees of uh, humidity. Right, uh, just now I couldn't start the grinder, right, because the grinder switch is actually not, the start switch is actually not on this panel, right, it's actually here, right, there's a, actually a play button here, right, so I think just now I tried to dose uh, 18 gram, right, so let's try to do that again, right, so at the moment let's uh, warm up the bottle filter. Right, so 
I'll just press and you can, you can hear the sound of the pump well, it's really very quiet now it's undergoing through the print infusion right 8 seconds and you will start to extract yep so you can see that the pressure gauge and this is actually the the steam pressure right so they are actually measuring the uh, the pump pressure and the steam pressure right okay so now the group head is warm up right okay so let me dry it okay let me uh because i'm using one hand to hold on to my camera so it can be a bit tricky so let me just dry it up okay so now basically i will be dosing 18 grams right i find that 18 grams is a bit too much for this basket so let me adjust it to be lesser Okay, I hold, I'll try to hold this, right? So you can see it's flashing. So by pressing this button, I can reduce by gram. So let me do a 17.5 grams. And I hold the button. Oh, whoops. Let me uh, reduce it again. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, so now it's uh, adjusted at 17.5 grams. So basically, to start this grinder, right, I just have actually to press this button here. Okay, one minute. Okay, let me uh, zero the weighing scale first. So now let's... So this is actually the grind quality. Right, so it's very fluffy, right, as you can see the grind. Right, and I have also got the uh, calibrator temper, right, so basically now I just have to, oops, right, okay, let me, I'm using it with one hand. Right, so we press, right, it can be done. Okay, so now let's uh, try to extract a shot. I didn't dial in the grinder yet. So uh, let's just pull a shot and see how it goes. Right, so I've already started the uh, pump. So after 8 seconds, the pumps will kick in and you will start to extract. Right, I can see that it's flowing a bit fast. Right, but I can hear that the pump is actually very quiet. Okay, I think I need to fill the water. Right, the water is actually empty. Right, so when the air water level is too low, right, it will drip. Right, and once I fill the water, right, and you will stop dipping. Right, so you can see the first shot, right, uh, I should put a weighing skill. So for the next shot, I'll try to put a weighing skill there and I'll redial in the... Uh, I'll try to adjust the grinder to, to grind finer. Right, so the first shots, I don't think it's a good shot. Right, so same as the uh, Eureka Minion, right? You can see the Eureka Minion is at the side. 
right uh same as the recall manual the adjustment down is actually here which means to say that this is most likely a dedicated espresso grinder right it is not like the df64 right df64 is more versatile with a collar right but you can do major adjustment for this one it's only micro adjustment so to adjust this i have to press this down and i'll go finer oh to find to go finer is actually turning anti-clockwise so let me adjust to two right so let me top up more water Okay, so let's try to pull another shot. Right, well, you can see the part is pretty dry. Right, let's flash a shot to clean up the basket. Now I have already flushed the basket and the bottle filter, so let me close again. By the way, this is the stock basket, right? That comes with the Gemini. Right, so again, 17.5 gram. Can, uh, adjust the grind then I can start again right okay so uh, I may have used the grinder slightly uh, wrong wrongly but never mind so let's see okay so let's tamp it down this is the Calibrated temper. Right, so it's pretty good. Okay, so let me get another glass and a wing steel. Okay, maybe this is a bit okay let's try uh, to see whether this will fit so first of all you will undergo a second print fusion extracted but I may have adjusted a bit too fine now it's already 30 seconds right I'm getting about 20 grams of shots right so this is about 38 grams and the quality is not bad on the shot. You can see the quality of the shots. Right, so let me try. Right, cheers. Wow, it's quite chocolatey. Right, um, I think that's the advantage of using the flat bird grinder. Right, um, it's quite balanced. It's good body. Mm. 
totally no acidity at all so uh, it's pretty good shots even though the flow is a bit slow so um, so you can see that the machine can be adjusted quite easily and uh, the grinder too can be adjusted quite easily to dial in espresso shots right so this is a simple uh, and a short video on how the machine can be used and uh, in our I'll be, I'll be recording definitely more videos on the updates of this machine and how um, I can better dial in the machine in, uh, for future users. So uh, thank you for joining me today. Right, If you have any questions, right, uh, please uh, link in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them. Right, uh, Because I may not have a go on live at the right time. Because maybe um, this is, uh, I'll try to find a better time to do the live next time for all of you. Right, so thank you for joining me. This is CY once again. Right, um, if you're first time joining my channel, right, uh, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. Right, and um, if you like my videos, and do consider subscribing my channel, and of course like my videos, and of course ring the bell, right, for any future updates on my video releases. Right, so thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you very soon.